Hello everyone. Today we'll see what is Ramanujan's identity and how to prove it. The Ramanujan identity kya hota hai of infinite sums. Infinite sums. Vaise to hume pata hai that we know that if 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to finite term se n. Uska to hume summation pata hai we know that n into n plus 1 by 2. But what will happen if this is infinity? Then what will happen? So, that is Ramanujan's identity. Okay. So, what is that? 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinite times. Okay. Then what will be the answer? What Ramanujan has said? He said that it's, it is equals to minus 1 by 12. So, how it is possible? How he has derived 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinity is equals to minus 1 by 12. So very simple proof is there. We can prove it. So how to prove it? We can prove. First of all, let us say we can take some S. Okay. S equals to we can take the series 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and it will goes on to infinity and how much terms are there it is even number of terms even number of terms are there we are assuming it even number of terms that means 2 plus 2 plus 2 like that even number of terms are there that means first will cancel out 1 minus 1 will be 0 second two terms will be 0 third two terms will be 0 and like that all the even terms will uh, cancel in pairs so we'll get the answer as 0 by our this assumption by our even number of terms of this series assumption we are getting the sum as 0 now similarly we can assume the same series because this is also infinite series and same name should be given to another series 1 minus 1 the same series will be taken here okay infinity but this time odd number of times okay. If it is odd number of terms, that means this single one, this three, then this five, like that we will treat. Okay. So first one will be one. If we consider odd terms, that is three terms, then it will be one minus one will cancel out. It will be answer one. Similarly for five terms, one minus one will cancel out. Second one minus one will cancel out. Where answer will be again one. So its answer is one. Because odd number of terms we have taken and previously we have taken even number of terms. Same, this is also infinite series. This is also infinite series. But this is all even number of terms. This is odd number of terms. So same series by the assumption will get answer 0 and 1 respectively. So now what we can do? Our main aim is to find the summation of first infinite terms of natural number should be equal to minus 1 by 12. So now what we can do is we can take the average of this two. That means S plus S by 2 equals to 0 plus 1. Once we got 0 for even number of terms. Next we got 1 for odd number of terms by 2. So this is equals to what? Half. Okay. That means 2s by 2 equals to half. Sorry, this is 2. So, s is nothing but half. By our simple logic of taking average, we have taken the average of s and we got s as 2. This we point out as equation number 1. Okay, we got s as half. Now, next what we will assume 
Now, next we can assume another series, say is uh, Q. Let Q equals to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity. This is also infinite series. Okay, we are assuming this. Our main aim is to find 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinity is minus 1 by 12. We have to prove it. But for that we have taken previously we have taken 1 minus 1 plus 1 up to infinity. Now we are taking 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up to infinity. Okay. And previously what we can we have, what we have taken s equals to we have taken 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up to infinite terms. Now what we can do is okay we can do is we can add both of this we will see what we will get okay let us add both of this series you can observe that we have just left one place but the series is same we have left one place right and we have written the same series s okay why you will observe that later on okay so q is this and s is this both are infinite series we will add those term, those series this is obviously zero if it is nothing it is obviously zero so we'll add this one plus zero is one minus two plus one is minus one three minus one is two minus four plus one is minus three five minus one is four okay and so on up to infinity and this is nothing but q plus s equals to okay now what we can implement here or we can adjust here we can take the negative sign outside we can take the negative sign common negative of 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so on infinity okay and what is this 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 to infinity is nothing but q because q is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 up to infinity and this is the same by taking the negative outside we got the series as q we can write it 1 minus q okay simple equation we can solve it that means q plus s equals to 1 minus q we can take q this side q plus q plus s equals to 1 from which we can write 2q equals to 1 minus s and by our previous calculations we got s equals to half you can check by our previous calculation we got s equals to half so since s equals to half we can put 1 minus half that is nothing but half okay one half or half which we tell so 2q is half that means what is q q is 1 by 4 okay now you have to just take this note this down s we got half and q from this equation by putting s equals to half we got q equals to 1 by 4 now these two equation or these two values we will use in our last statement by for proving the statement we will use these two so how will you use now we will see okay now we will take the series this series whose sum we have to find out will name it say say r r equals to the series which you have to find out so write this down 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to infinity okay and q already we have taken whose value we got as 1 by 4 and r the question which we need to prove whose value okay so r equals to this now what we will do here we will subtract both the series previously we have added now we will subtract both the series if we will subtract both the series what we will get 
the subtract 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 this one will be 0 this one will be 2 plus 2 okay this one will be again 0 this will cancel out this will cancel out because here subtraction is there similarly this will be 4 plus 4 not minus because subtraction is there so 4 minus minus 4 which is 4 plus 4 similarly this is 0 okay similarly next we will get something like 6 plus 6 similarly it is 0 like that we will get up to infinity and what is this it is nothing but r minus q or subtract subtraction q r subtraction q equals to this this can be again written simplified as 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 0 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 0 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 0 then 16 plus like that it will continue that means 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 plus 20 and so on and what is this r difference q if you will take 4 common what will get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity okay and what is this series which we have named as r okay we named this series as r so 4 into r this is equals to 4 times r or multiplied by r which you tell we tell 4 into r or 4 multiplied by r which over whichever you can tell okay no problem so r minus q equals to 4 r implies r minus 4 r equals to q which can be also written as minus 3 r equals to q and what is q what is q we got q as 1 by 4 previously we got q as 1 by 4 so we'll substitute in this okay so this side will write minus 3 r equals to q which is equals to 1 by 4 implies what is r r equals to 1 by 3 in times 4 which is minus 1 by 12 and what is r r is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinity whose summation is given by minus 1 by 12 and this is just proved by ramanujan's identity so hence we got 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinity equals to minus 1 by 12 hence the proof is very simple so subscribe for more such contents thank you